going on guys welcome back to a brand new video so i know most of you guys are grinding out mw2 trying to get those unlocks those rewards that ghoulie camo everything that you are preparing to transfer over into modern warfare 3. this video is going to go over everything that you will be able to transfer versus the things that you won't be able to so this is just a full guide i'll section off the video into different parts so if there's something you have a question about you can feel free to check that section if i don't answer it here in the video feel free to comment it down below and i'll try to help you out as much as possible if you find this video helpful or informative don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you always stay up to date on the latest Call of Duty news and updates. Anyways, let's go ahead. Let's jump into it. First set of items that are going to transfer over are the more obvious ones. For example, pre-order bonus rewards that you are waiting on that you don't currently have in the game. For example, the lockpick operator for PlayStation users. If you got the vault edition, you have the nemesis operator pack. There's also the Twitch viewership rewards for watching the beta. You would get some rewards, but they weren't granted into MW2. Those will be given to you on MW3. And this also includes the beta rewards that you were able to grind out. So if you played the beta, you got to level 30, you unlocked the jabber operator skin, as well as the striker weapon blueprint, all these different items that you were, or rewards that you were able to use during the beta period, you are going to be able to use that once the full game releases as well. These are only just the rewards, so the weapons, the items, the unlocks, the attachments, none of that will carry on over, which I'll talk a little bit more about in the will not transfer over section. Next set of items that you can expect to transfer over are going to be the XP tokens that you have collected. So if you played MW2, you've grinded out battle passes, you may have gotten viewership rewards, you were granted XP tokens. At the same time, if you played Warzone, there was also ways that you were able to do that. So if you check on over to that XP section, you may have a bunch of them. I have like 20 something one hour XPs. 20 something double weapon xps all these are going to transfer over into modern warfare 3 i would highly recommend that you don't use them currently right now in mw2 mainly for the reason that we already have double xp which is currently live as of right now until wednesday so it's not really necessary to use these double xp tokens and it'd be a better idea to use them on modern warfare 3 where there's brand new weapons that you'll need to progress there's a brand new level that you'll need to start grinding out for and just so much items that you should focus on for modern warfare 3 so these will carry on over if you have a good amount of them then that's some good news for you definitely feel like this is the most important section especially for those of you guys who plan on grinding out mw3 on day one along with xp tokens cod points are also going to be transferring over but there is a catch to this so if you have say 8,000 cod points on mw2 you will have those 8,000 cod points in warzone you will have that in modern warfare 3 this happens with every single call of duty so you don't have to worry about it being between mw2 and mw3 even with mw3 and call of duty 2025 they still will transfer on over it's always how it's been with call of duty the only catch is that they will not transfer between platforms so if you have the 8,000 cod points on ps5 you wouldn't be able to use or see those cod points on xbox and pc you would have to cash them and spend them over on the playstation and once you do any skins or operators you have will obviously transfer over into pc and xbox as well next thing we have is going to be the season 6 battle pass now when i talk about this transferring over i don't mean the actual rewards and operators that you get from it but i'm talking about the battle pass progression in itself so say for example you're currently 50 percent done with the season 6 battle pass and then mw3 ends up launching you end up purchasing mw3 you start playing on there any progression any xp anything that you get will go towards the battle pass so you'll start gaining battle pass xp tokens while you're playing modern warfare 3 to complete the season 6 battle pass so you don't need to stay playing mw2 if you want to rank up and complete the battle pass you can do it while you're playing mw3 all the way up until the season one of mw3 which is going to be taking place in december so the season six battle pass progression will carry on forward now let's jump into the modern warfare 2 weapons right now we have almost 80 different weapons available in modern warfare 2 and the best part about this is every single one of them is going to carry forward even if you don't have them unlocked so what this means is that say you didn't purchase modern warfare 2 but you did play warzone you have some of the weapons unlocked but most of them you don't have unlocked you get Modern Warfare 3, say you want to end up unlocking the Lockman Shroud or the Tempest Razorback or any of these DLC weapons that we ended up receiving. There's going to be a brand new challenge that you will need to complete in Modern Warfare 3 and that will unlock you the weapon. So you don't even need to own MW2 to get the Modern Warfare 2 weapons. Along with the weapons, there's also going to be blueprints and those are also going to transfer over. So if you've unlocked them, whether it's through the Battle Pass, through viewership rewards, maybe you did some challenges, you purchased it from the store. Any blueprints that you currently have in MW2 will also transfer on over into modern warfare 3 and by the way warzone and mw2 since 
since they're intertwined. If you have anything in Warzone, that also will transfer to MW3. And this also applies to every single thing that I mentioned in the video. Even the save weapon blueprint, say you tuned a weapon, you have it perfectly set, those will also transfer on over. So you wouldn't have to worry about your blueprints or your custom weapon loadouts or whatever you adjusted. Those will also be available. And then going on to the next thing is gonna be the camos. The camos are also gonna transfer on over. But there is a catch when it comes to them because it really depends on the camo that you are talking about. So for example, Orion camo, polyatomic, platinum, these mastery type of camos that you get from completing challenges are gonna transfer on over into MW3 and they will be available for you to still get an MW3. So that way you can still get Orion, you can still get polyatomic, you can still get that if you didn't end up getting it in Modern Warfare 2. But at the same time is there's also limited time camos. If you didn't unlock during that limited duration, then you're not gonna be able to ever see it again and it will not transfer to MW3. So only the items you have unlocked along with the mastery camos are all gonna transfer into MW3. There are gonna be some items that won't transfer over and I'm gonna be explaining that in the don't transfer for section. Going on to the next set of items that you're going to be able to transfer are going to be the operator. So anything you purchase from the store, anything you've unlocked, whether you played the MW2 campaign, you ended up doing a challenge to unlock, you got it in some any sort of way. If you have it unlocked and you're able to equip it currently in Modern Warfare 2, then this is an item that will transfer on over into Modern Warfare 3. But to simplify, if you can use the operator, then it will carry into Modern Warfare 3. If you can't use it, then it will depend on how you unlock the operator. So if it was available for a limited time, you're not going to be able to ever get it again and you won't be able to carry it forward into MW3. So for example, you have Homelander, you have Snoop Dogg, you have all these limited time operators that were available at a certain point available in the store, whether they're available in the battle pass, you weren't able to get them because maybe you just weren't interested or you didn't purchase it at the time. And those will never come back. You'll never be able to unlock them. So therefore they will not carry forward into Modern Warfare 3. But if you did make that purchase, then they will carry on forward. Going on to the next set of items is gonna be everything else like loading screens, calling cards, charms, gun buddies, emblems, all that stuff will carry on into MW3. You won't have to worry about that stuff. You'll be able to use the loading screens, calling cards, anything that you were able to get in MW2. But going on to the items that will not carry forward, the first one is gonna be your stats. So your level, your KD ratio, your win loss, Anything like that will not carry on forward into MW3. All that is gonna be wiped and reset, which I think is good news. It gives you a fresh start. That also includes the beta progression. So if you ended up playing the beta and you got the max level 30, Anything that you unlocked, for example, when it comes to weapons that you unlock, field upgrades, perks, anything that isn't a reward, that isn't a cosmetic that you ended up unlocking during the beta is going to be fully reset. So you're going to have to unlock the striker again, have to get field upgrades, attachments, all that stuff. You're still going to have to do it again. Any level progression when it comes to the weapons, that is also going to reset. So everything goes back to level one. So everyone will be starting at the same exact level and no one will have an advantage over the other. The only advantage that you'll have is maybe experience, whether you tried weapons, you saw which ones worked better. That's the only thing that you'll pretty much technically be able to carry forward. Going on to the next thing that we have is gonna be limited time event items will not transfer over. So for example, if you did not unlock the ghoulie camo during this haunting event, this will not carry on forward. You will not have another chance to unlock it. There will be no challenge. Nothing like that will be available for you to get. So you either get it now or you don't get it at all. That's the same with past battle pass rewards, past event rewards like the faction showdown, any camo challenges or events that we saw in the past. If you didn't unlock it back then, then you won't be able to use them now. The next thing is this also goes for operators. So for example, say you started playing MW2 during season four. So the season three battle pass, you never purchased that. And that's when they introduced Valeria and they introduced introduce Alejandro. So the operator, the base operator version of Valeria, you're not going to be able to get, but say you ended up getting the season four, season five battle pass, and there was new Valeria operator skins in there. You're going to get to keep those Valeria skins, but the base Valeria version is no longer going to be unlockable for you. And there's going to be no way that you're ever going to get that. So it goes like this with every skin. So if you don't have the base version of that skin unlocked, you're just never going to be able to get it, but you will get to keep the new variants of that skin that you may have gotten. Another example is there's so many different Nova operator skins and variants but the base version of Nova you can only unlock by completing the campaign so if you want to get this base version you're gonna need to go back and finish the MW2 campaign and play that to unlock that operator but in MW3 there's gonna be no way for you to get her. This also applies to store bundles so for example the limited time ones whenever we have like license collapse say for example Tim the Tapman, Nick Merck, Snoop Dogg, any of these operator skins that came in as like a crossover collaboration and were available for a limited time. If you did not purchase them at that time, you're not gonna be able to ever purchase them again. Next thing that will not carry on forward is gonna be camos in MW2 will not carry forward into Modern Warfare 3 weapons. So even if you unlock the Ghoulie camo, the Orion camo, any of these camos that you unlocked 
are only going to be equipable and applicable on MW2 weapons while you're playing MW3, but they will not be on MW3 weapons. So say you want to put the Ghoulie Camel on the Striker or one of the new MW3 weapons, you're not going to be able to do that. So if you want to use the Ghoulie Camel in MW3, you're going to have to put it on an older MW2 weapon. Finally, the last thing that will not carry on over is going to be the special items such as vehicle skins that don't have vehicles of them in MW3. So say for example, the Hummer is not available in MW3, but you have a bunch of vehicle skins for it, you're not gonna be able to transfer that over on MW3 because that vehicle doesn't exist anymore and there's just nothing to put it on, so it just won't transfer on over. So this applies to everything that isn't gonna be available in MW3. So that's pretty much everything that you need to know about what will carry on forward and what won't carry forward. If you have any questions, feel free to comment it down below and I'll answer that for you guys. But that's all that I got for you guys in this video. I hope you guys found the informative and helpful if you did don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you always stay up to date on the latest call of duty news and updates